Ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, and whatever the fuck this goddamn fucking Ridley Scott meat hook abortion is. Jesus, sweet, merciful fuck, just look at that. All right, well, uh, that's not why we're here today, or at least why I'm here today. I was right in the middle of editing my Brandon Herrera video, which I have coming out soon, and I came across a, uh, a post from a certain in-range TV. You may have heard of the gentleman behind it. If you are in the fucking gun community whatsoever, you definitely know the name Carl Casarda. Uh, he heads up in-range. And so what I had to do is basically stop right where I was doing because I had... I have this reoccurring thought every now and again when I see dumb fuckery on this goddamn grand of scale where I think to myself, what in the fuck, what actually happened to the gun community within the last probably 10 years, maybe not even 10 years, like recently within the community? I, I have this thought because I, I see these so-called pro-gun people, and you can't see me make the sarcastic finger quotes, but believe me, the sarcastic finger quotes, they are there. I am making them when I say pro-gun people. It seems to me that whenever I follow or subscribe to a channel or a page that puts out gun content... For any length of time, there are inevitable skeletons in the closet that are found and exposed, and the creators always backpedal on these. And, of course, our old buddy Carl, he's no fucking exception to this fucking bullshit. So, first of all, Carl is a registered Satanist wherever he does go to. If you don't believe me, I will have photos up this entire time. And I will put a video at the end of this cringe-ass fucking ceremony. I mean, cringe my fucking balls completely fucking off. My balls just fell off from the sheer level of cringe that I experienced watching this video. I'll put it at the end for you. You don't have to see it right now. You'll experience the cringe later on at the end of the video. But getting back on track, Carl Casarda is in fact a registered Satanist. He is on a no-fly list that he blamed on, you know, his promotion of firearms material. No, it's because he's a registered Satanist. It has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that he owns and makes content related to the firearms industry. That's an absolute cover-up, and you shouldn't be fooled by that at all. In the past, when I actually did enjoy his content, and he actually did seem the slightest fucking amount of based, I guess you would say, he was a huge Varaboo. Uh, drove around in a post-war Kubelwagen, and basically loved dressing up in, uh, you know, Wehrmacht attire. And of course, this whole entire time, he was accompanied by Ian McCollum, who of Forgotten Weapons fame, of course. But Ian and Carl created this channel, In Range TV, and for the longest time, it was amazing. It was actually really good entertaining content that wasn't affected by the absolute sin of sponsorships and having to sit through fucking one whole goddamn minute of listening to some pecker breath fucking mouth breathing mongoloid tell you about how you need to. Uh, join Big Daddy Unlimited or play World of Warships or Raid Shadow Legends. No fucking bullshit uh, involved in the production of this material. And I respected him for that for, you know, the, the as long as I can remember. And 
comparatively, this channel wasn't around for a long time compared to the OGs. But the problem with the OGs is they never stuck around as long as, you know, as long as I've been in on this website. I've been on YouTube for well over a decade now. I've pretty much seen everything that there is, and I know how great this website used to be. I know what good content looks like, and for, you know, the... Uh, during the conception of this channel and its beginnings uh, up to a couple of years ago, it was a phenomenal channel and I genuinely enjoyed watching Carl and Ian do their thing and shit all over fucking FUD lore and they would absolutely troll the ever-living shit out of certain categories of gun people and gun groups and they would do all of these things unfettered and d creating a community for themselves that uh, garnered a reputation for being some of the honest content or the most honest content that you could potentially get out of firearms reviews now let's fast forward to now, and this guy is just absolutely insufferable. I mean, Jesus fucking Christ, Carl, like what the fuck happened, man? Most of his friends are just total leftists, at least the ones that he socializes with on social media and YouTube and such. Deviant Alum is evidently an Antifa supporter course we got the infamous tactical tranny fucking whatever the fuck like I don't know how you can look at this and go yep okay this is normal this is what gun owners need to uh, look up to Russell Fagan the fat fuck from Sinister Rifleman and the owner of KE Arms is evidently gonna die on the same hill that fucking Carl is wanting to and it's just I'm coming back to this post and I'm just staring blankly at my screen how can you be such a dumb fuck how can you make such a post in bad taste say whatever you will this is in very very bad taste and I understand this is kind of sort of him trying to call out all the, you know, the dudes who are like, ha ha, just don't comply, ha ha. But then basically what you're inadvertently saying is I support gun laws by this. And you're, you're not really doing yourself any justice by saying you know, all of you are tough guys, and, oh yeah, anybody responding to that thinks, you know, oh, I'm shitting all over the victims. Well, you kind of are. Randy Weaver and his family, um, they kind of didn't bring this upon themselves. In fact, they kind of just kept to themselves the whole time this shit happened. The Branch Davidians, uh, yeah, that they definitely didn't have Facebook back then. They definitely didn't have YouTube where they could just go, ha ha, look at this illegal machine gun that, you know, I created. Ha ha, fuck the ATF, blah, blah, blah. It's just, it's blatantly obvious to me that this insufferable cunt, this Satanist, this fucking cum drinker, he just, he lost touch with reality as soon as this scamdemic happened. And now he's just this absolute cuck, both from a relationship standpoint and from a gun standpoint. And there just ain't all that much that I can fucking add to this. Like, holy shit, what an absolute fucking shit show. And I love this part of the post where it says, I'm not saying there's not a time and place to stand up for yourself, and, but, I'm also not, but I'm also saying that the time 
in place isn't a $250 modification on a collectible, not mass-produced fun gun, blah, blah, blah. Uh, what do you mean there's not a time and place? Like, n name the fucking time and place where I should stand up for myself, motherfucker. Carl, you fucking cuck. What are you trying to say by that, dude? Name a time and a place where I should stand up for myself. Because right now what this seems like is you're changing your views every time there's a shift in the Overton window. And that's something that leftists routinely do. That's something that weak-minded cuck-servatives do and lulberts do. Not somebody who's supposedly supposed to be a pinnacle of the gun community. I know people personally that are in violation of the NFA. They violated the NFA by converting semi-auto weapons into uh, select fire, and they also manufactured their own suppressors with nothing but basic machine tools. And guess what? Those motherfuckers aren't openly discussing how they did it and what they did. They're not posting it on social media, you fucking retard. And again, I just, I can't get over this line. There's a time and a place. Like, right now in the gun community, we are suffering a death by a thousand cuts. And before you know it, all of these rights are going to be gone, and you're going to be asking yourself, how the fuck did we get here? So yeah, Russell Fagan and fucking, you know, Carl, go ahead and come back at me in a few years when you're faced with registering your fucking KP-15 as an NFA firearm. I think I already know what your guys' stance is on that. You know, all of this shit just sounds like leftists speak to me. Maybe I'm wrong, but then again, it's one of those things where if it looks like shit, smells like shit, and tastes like shit, you know where I'm coming from with this? If you're trying to hook up with a fucking tranny, if you're polyamorous, if you're hanging around with people who are also leftists, what the fuck do you want me to believe? What conclusion am I supposed to draw from this information? I think it was pretty much the height of the COVID scare that really soured my attitude toward this guy. I mean, yeah, I get it. If you really believe that, you know, wearing some kind of a facial covering will save lives... If, if you abide by that and, you know, you recommend that to people honestly and not being a condescending prick about it, you know, I, I, I can deal with that. That's cool. Whatever. That's your thing. But to constantly shit your opinion out on the Internet and ridicule those who disagree with you in the slightest way and calling them sociopaths. And to go so far as to wish death upon these people in a subtle way, it really sours my opinion to you. And I believe other people have been soured to you as well. And that's fucking bullshit. So that's Carl Casarda to me in a nutshell. He is a cuck who is apparently head over heels for some poly slut bag routinely talks to transgender 41 percent fucking suicide rate faggots hangs out with lefty antifa supporters and fat fucks who waffle back and forth on gun legislation registered satanist drinks cum from a fucking chalice and in general is just a completely insufferable cunt it's no wonder that you're getting fucking trolled and dunked on at every single juncture now. You have created this for yourself, dude. This is your fucking hole. Now sit in it. Earlier on in the this audio, I basically wondered what the fuck happened 
to the gun community. I mentioned that it was a reoccurring thought of mine. Honestly, I blame the community at large for a lack of gatekeeping and just letting in this flood of absolute fucking pecker breath degenerate fucking reprobates who would rather virtue signal than keep their community in line. This is YouTube 2021. This is the gun community. This is the future. And the future is fucked. I really hate what this community has become. I used to think Hickok 45 was really cool, and then he shilled the NRA. I used to think Ian McCollum was really cool, but then he wouldn't shut the fuck up about how Rhodesia was not a genocide. I used to think Iraq Veteran 88, 88 was pretty fucking cool, until, you know, I found out about that he's basically a massive cuck. I used to think Demo Ranch, I never thought Demo Ranch was cool, fuck that faggot. And of course, I used to think that in range TV, Carl Casarda was cool. But then, I learned about the skeletons in the closet. And again, I blame the gun community for an absolute lack of gatekeeping. Because gatekeeping would have solved this fucking problem. The gun community is completely chock full of shills, faggots, weirdos, trannies, and just in general a bunch of degenerate fuckholes who frankly don't deserve gun rights. And you're going to say, oh my god, I can't believe you said certain people don't deserve rights to own firearms. Yeah, I said it. Go fuck yourself with an Arizona cactus, Carl. Anywho, I said my piece. Here's that video I promised. So let's start with the first class of ads and, and uh, see the world for what we want it to be. So what do you guys think? Give it a try. We should, we should cheers. Hail Satan. Sure, why not? Cheers and hail Satan. Hail Satan. Hail Satan. Cheers. 